Hello! Hi! Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a very merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, then I hope you had a wonderful day. And I hope you all got to spend it with the ones that you loved. I certainly did, and it was wonderful, and I had a really, really great time, and I hope you guys had a very merry time as well. So I thought it would be fitting to film a What I Got For Christmas video. I filmed this most years. Some years I have been a bit slack. Before I start this video, I just wanted to do a quick disclaimer. By no means am I bragging or trying to show off. Yes, I am really, really lucky to have gotten what I got and I'm very lucky to have such incredible people around me. I got very spoiled this year, I'm not gonna lie. The fact that I have a lot to show you guys in this video, please don't take that out on me and leave hate or comments down below and think that I'm trying to shove it in anyone's faces. I'm definitely not. I really personally love watching these sort of videos and I hope you guys do too so I thought I would film one. I have done these in the past and I wanted to share it with you guys because that's what you do on YouTube, you share things. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Not gonna lie, Santa did get me a pimple or two for Christmas, which I wasn't too pleased about, so I just thought I would start off with the, the presents I didn't like. Just a, a nice bad boy here, a nice bad boy there, although I think that might be a bite, I'm not sure. It's not a pimple, but it's not not a pimple. I don't know, I'm like, what are you? What, what are this? This one, however, is one of those ones that are like super deep, like under the skin, that are really painful, you know what I'm talking about? Probably too much information, but like, yeah. Not fun, thanks Santa. I haven't been that naughty this year, like seriously, like what up with that? And let's go into what I got for Christmas 2017. And oh my goodness, how is it nearly 2018 already? Once this video is up, it might already be 2018. So if it is, I hope you guys had a great New Year's. I'm gonna stop talking and let's get on to what I got. Yay! Let's go. The first thing I got was a bag and it's just this tote bag. I think it's perfect for the beach, it has roses on it. And I really like it because I like everything with roses on it and I just thought that was cute because it's a perfect little beach bag with some hair. Love it. Really, really random, but the next thing I got was this star projector. I've kind of got like a recent fascination for like stars and galaxies and stuff like that. Really random, but I really wanted to turn my room into like a super space sort of zone. I have like glow in the dark stuff on my roof because I'm five. This is what it looks like. And I'm really excited to use this out and I'll let you guys know how it goes. Mm. The next thing I got was two little patches. These are from Bonds and the first one is a little rainbow because gay pride. And the second one's like this little, almost like Rolling Stones sort of little tongue out thingamabob. And then I got the Originals Peppermint Bark Bite. It's like peppermint chocolate. I'm really excited to eat it because as you guys may be aware, I'm a massive snacker. I like get full on meals really quickly, but when it comes to snacks, I can eat like family bags of popcorn, chips, a whole bar of chocolate like this big. I really hate to admit that, but I can. Late night snack, anyone? Yes, please. The next thing I got is a very random one, but it's actually one of my favorite things that I got this year for Christmas. My mom knows me way too well. I love garlic and I love potatoes, so she got me this french fry seasoning. Definitely going to be putting this on everything. It's so accurate and so perfectly suited to me, it's not even fun. So, I'm gonna shake that, shake that around, put it on some potatoes, eat the potatoes, Mmm, yeah. Another one of my favorite things I got this year was this little Harry Potter Dobby character. At a few shops I did see like these little things with like different characters from different movies and stuff. I remember I could do the voice in high school and then like my nickname was Dobby and I nearly got it on my year 12 jersey, like Dobby at the back. But then I decided to play it safe and went with Ames. So that didn't happen. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? I don't know what is. Like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Really random one, mum. Dobby's a free elf. Dobby must save Harry Potter. Nah, it's not as good anymore. I don't know, I feel like I can't do it very well anymore. But like, yeah, anyway, I used to do that voice. People called me Dobby and this is the cutest thing ever. Another little stocking filler I got was this tiara nail polish holder ring. My mum is always having a go at me for doing, like painting my nails on my bed or on my carpet or on my couch, but like standing the bottle up on, on my laptop. Does anyone else do that? I just like, I'll sit on my bed, put my laptop in front of me, put the nail polish on the like laptop, bottom part and then paint my nails on my bed which is white so probably not the best idea and mum gets the shits with me all the time for doing that so I think it was only appropriate. This is more like a gift for her. As you guys can see it's like a ring I think and you like stand your nail polish on it while you're painting your hand like like that. Pretty nifty little thing if you ask me and I've never seen anything like this before so I'm happy to be a proud owner. The next thing I got is really cool because I love doing art so I like anything art and crafty. This is one of those paint by numbers things. I don't know, I used to do heaps as a kid. I don't know about you guys. Um, but this is like an adult's version so obviously it's a wolf 
but like look how insanely like intricate and detailed that is this is gonna take me like days to do I feel but I love anything that can like keep me occupied in a creative way and I'm really excited to try do it except it, I know it's not gonna turn out anything like that because this is done by like a professional aiming for this goals but that's perhaps not gonna happen so cool so nifty so groovy I like it so I'm really into star signs and numerology and stuff like that and in my stocking I found this little bad boy it's called your awesome year ahead Aquarius 2018 so my star sign is Aquarius and obviously it goes into like your year month by month like that's pretty sick and then it goes into like all the different planets going into retrograde and the power moons and all that sort of stuff so along the lines of books uh, I got this magazine which is called Enhancing Your Mind, Body and Spirit and I have never heard of this magazine before but I'm really excited to read it because I like the sound of it. That's a nail polish which is cool because, oh jokes, <laughs> it's not nail polish. It's tea tree massage oil. Ooh, I like a little bit of a tea tree massage oil. Tea tree is like really good for breakouts so that's kind of fitting. Um, very fitting right now. <laughs> Hello, my little friend. Oh, I also got this rotating projector uh, so I can have raves in my bedroom <coughs> by myself. Um, I got this and it's a handheld like rave torch, I think. I like lights, like I have fairy lights all over my room so anything that like projects stuff or lights in my room, I'm like totally about, hence the star projector, hence this. I got more snacks! This next thing is kind of hard to show you, but my mum's friend or our family friends got me this really cool round towel. As you guys can see, it's a very nice like palm print. Ooh, that would make like a really cool top. I got another book and this one is called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a f Interesting one. I actually heard this recommended by a YouTuber and I'm trying to remember who it was. I definitely don't care as much about what people think as I used to when I was like a teenager. However, I also would like to get more to a point where I care less about what people think because I think it can stop you. Um, this is getting really serious for a second, but I think it can like stop you from living your life and it can make you feel really anxious and when you're like worrying about what other people think and I guess we're all human. It's very rare to find people who actually give zero fucks, like actually don't care what people think at all. I don't know, I feel like it can be very freeing when you get to a point where you just don't care what people think, like at all. And that's somewhere I'd really like to get to. So. I thought I'd get this book. But I also like things that change my perspective. I love books that play with your mind a little bit and um, get you to see yourself or the world in a different way. So I'm excited to give this a read. Onto a little fashion item. I got this belt. Just got like a silver buckle with like embellishments on it. I've been eyeing out these belts for a while. I haven't really gotten around to getting myself one, uh, but now I have one. So thank you, Santa. I appreciate you, but I got some new highlighters. Not really that much to say about them, but they've got a really cool pattern on them, and with uni, uh, I always need stationery because they go through stuff very quickly. Another thing I got was incense. Incense is something I am quite obsessed with. I burn it every single day in my room. I love the smell. I think it calms me. I think the reason why I really like it is like everywhere that burns incense that I've been, like when you go to a psychic or when you go to like the mind, body and spirit festival or you go to like a spa, I don't know, it just like reminds me of relaxing places. Love that. Love me a little bit of incense. Then I got another fashion item and these are some little boxer shorts by Bond. In summer, pretty much all I sleep in is boxer shorts and like a t-shirt, um, usually both from the men's department. Funnily enough, it's something that I didn't think I needed, like I didn't think that I needed, but when I got it I was like, oh, I, I, that's actually really useful, I really need that. Did that happen to any of you guys this year where you didn't realize you needed something but then you got it and you were like, oh, that's like, that's really useful, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Uh, this is one of those things for me, so I'm very excited to wear them and they're really cute and they're very soft. I'm going to talk about two products quickly. I did know I was getting these because my mum and I went Christmas shopping. Apparently this is talked about quite a lot on YouTube. I haven't heard of it on YouTube yet. I haven't come across it. Apparently it's really good at getting rid of like stubborn scars. I don't get like that many breakouts but when I do I find that there's a mark on my skin for quite a while after like my skin doesn't fully heal and like recover and then it'll kind of fade to like a purpley sort of color apparently this is really good at getting rid of that pigmentation and that discoloration did I even say what it's called it's called La Roche Pose Effaclar Duo. The next thing is something for the lips. I think I've mentioned this on my channel before. One of the things I am self-conscious about, or not really self-conscious, but that I wouldn't mind changing would be my lips. I know people have very mixed opinions about lip injections and stuff like that, so I'm not gonna bring that up on my channel. I haven't had lip injections, obviously. My lips are pretty small. 
but it's something that I've thought about, oh, do I, do I bother to do anything about it? It doesn't worry me that much, but I'm like kind of curious to see what I would look like with bigger lips. And I saw this and I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if it's gonna be one of those products that promises things and then doesn't do anything. Proven to increase the appearance of volume, definition, hydration, and condition. That's what it looks like. Apparently if you use it like every day for 30 days, it gives the lips more of like a plump look because it hydrates them and then they appear plumper or fuller. I have no idea what this is gonna be like, but I'm gonna give it a go and see what happens. So if you guys wanna see a video of me like documenting this, let me know. I feel like this video is gonna be so long. I'm trying to get through things quickly, but uh, it's a large bag. There's lots of like little knickknacks, so I'm just gonna keep going. When it comes to bathing, I am definitely a massive bath person. There's nothing like a good relaxing bath in my mind. I love a good bath, basically. So bath bombs are something that I am very obsessed with, and I got two of these for Christmas. Uh, actually, two of my favorite bath bombs. The first one is called Dragon's Egg, and then the second one is Sex Bomb. This is like a fuchsia pink one, and this is like a, but it's like orangey and like got glitter in it. This is Dragon's Egg, lovely. And this is Sex Bomb, lovely. I'm very excited to go have a bath. Mama be thirsty. Oh, I feel like a new woman. Now I'm gonna show you a couple of jewelry pieces I got in my stocking. The first are some rings. This is the first one. It's got like two moonstones and it's freaking gorgeous. I love it. And the other one is this elephant. As you guys can see, he's real cute. My lovely brother got me two things for Christmas. The first is this Ralph Lauren handbag and it's like black and it's got like gold on it. So I'm very excited to go transfer all my stuff from my current handbag to this one because I really like it and I wanna change it up. So thank you, Mike. The other thing he got me is something that I'm very obsessed with. Sloths are my favorite animal in the whole world and he got me this calendar with sloths all over it. Just, can you just appreciate like their little faces right there? Like, can we just appreciate, can we just appreciate that? I love them. As I mentioned earlier, I've kind of been obsessed with like stars and like astronomy and moons are another thing that I just find so fascinating. I think they're beautiful. And I think the next tattoo I'm gonna get is a crescent moon behind my ear. On to what I was actually gonna show you. This is the necklace. It's by Tony May. And it basically has a little moonstone in it and then it's got some crescent moons on either side. I love a good frolic. I love swimming in the pool. I love going to the beach and uh, I love pool toys and it just takes me back to childhood. So when I saw this under the tree, I got real excited because I love a good pool toy. Uh, probably just said pool toy 10 million times. Say it again, Amy, pool toy. So I got that. The next thing was something under the tree for my brother and I to share and it's another pool toy and it's like, oh my gosh, it's so heavy. That's what it looks like. It's like a rocking thing. Now we're on to the last present and this was my main present and I saved the best for last. Uh, basically, when I was in America, I brought a, my vlogging camera with me and I brought my GoPro with me. When we got the bus from Boston to New York, I stupidly had my GoPro in uh, I had two carry-on bags and one suitcase and we could only bring one carry-on bag on the bus and the rest had to go under the bus. My GoPro was in the carry-on bag I put under the bus and suitcases and stuff were piled on top of it and it broke. I went to a camera shop because I was like, it's not turning on, is there any way I can get it fixed? And they basically said that you can't fix GoPros, like once they're broken, they're broken and you have to get a new one. And I was really, really, really lucky to have gotten a new GoPro uh, this year. So that is everything I got this year for Christmas. I know I got a lot of stuff. I'm very, very lucky and I'm actually surprised there's this much stuff. I got very spoiled this year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it was a long one. I'm assuming it's going to be. I feel like I just can't do short videos these days. Like, all my videos end up being so long. But I did have quite a bit to show you. But I hope you guys liked it. If you did, stick around this long, you're the best. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will have my Instagram and Twitter on the screen and down below. You can keep up with my everyday life if you want to. Uh, you don't have to. And again, I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. Spent it with the ones you love. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful day. And wishing you all the best for 2018. And I cannot wait to start a new year on this channel with you guys. And I promise I'm going to be better at this YouTube stuff. Because this year, uni has really messed me up. Have a very merry day. And I will talk to you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.